An update tonight on when we can expect to see improvements complete on the Union Bank and Trust Pavilion in Portsmouth. You may remember a structural issue discovered last year caused the canopy to be taken down. Ten on your side's Brett Hall is live in the newsroom with the latest on this and several other big changes to come in Portsmouth. Brett? Well, while Portsmouth was certainly not planning on a prepare of this magnitude to the pavilion at all, they do tell us, and we're learning tonight, that there is going to be several other projects alongside it at their waterfront this coming year. It was in May that the city of Portsmouth discovered a serious structural issue at the Union Bank and Trust Pavilion. A 10-foot crack in its main mass support forced the city to remove the 13-piece canopy, while at the same time moving shows to other venues, frustrating local business owners. You just hope they fix it and then they can move on and get some good shows in there. City engineer James Wright told 10 on your side back in July the whole issue was caused by water damage. We're just not sure how water got in at the moment. Tonight at a city council work session, he revealed a new design will eliminate the possibility of that problem ever occurring again. Starting in January, crews will begin to take down that damage system, installing one that is a solid piece of steel. No more hollow tubes. In March, the pavilion's third canopy in its 17-year life will be installed with a goal of having all the work completed by June 1st. Wright says they are currently still on track to keep within their $2.4 million budget to get it all done. And while a new roof goes up on the music venue, the city announced the wrecking ball will swing on these former office buildings on Crawford Street. It's all a part of the goal to bring more tax-generating development to the Portsmouth waterfront, making a city destination for all of Hampton Roads. And back to the pavilion, the city says that they're still waiting to see if there was damage to the damaged mast before it was originally installed at the pavilion. Several councilors say they want to make sure taxpayers aren't footing the bill for a faulty product. Live in the newsroom tonight, Brett Hall, Ted on your side.